Here's another look at reading raw data from uh, a hardware device in Linux uh, using bash and the simple cat command. Um, we're once again going to go to our uh, uh, DEV folder, uh, which is for devices. And we will list all our TTY devices. You can see there. And at this point, I'm going to take a USB GPS device I have. Oh, hit my microphone, sorry. And I'm going to plug it in. And as soon as I plug it in, if I LS again like that, you'll see that we have a new device right here. That would be the GPS device. At this point, we can cat out that device. And um, don't have to be root for this. There's no security issues uh, grabbing information from a GPS unit. Uh, I suppose someone could be tracking you. But besides that, you don't want every time to open up a GPS uh, application uh, for you to have to be admin. So that's why you have, you're going to access it without that. And you'll see that this isn't sending just binary information. It's actually sending useful, readable information. And if you actually uh, can look up uh, information on this, you'll see that basically uh, it's giving latitude and longitude coordinates. It's also giving other information on, on direction of travel and whatnot. Uh, you'll see that on my screen right now you have a lot of zeros. That would be because I haven't, uh, the device has not hit a satellite yet and it may not during this tutorial. I'm indoors uh, and uh, this device is designed for a car to be stuck on a windshield and it needs uh, a direct line of sight to a satellite and unfortunately, well I guess it's fortunate, my house has a roof on it. So uh, I have once or twice seen it get a signal, but usually I have to go outside. If I hook this up to my laptop and go outside, I'll actually get latitude and longitude and other information on there. Um, and then you can use the uh, cut command and a grep command to cut out the latitude and longitude. And then you can do a uh, reverse um, uh, geocaching. Uh, and it just basically you could strip out information and get what you want and send it somewhere or store it uh, and uh, that's something I might go over in a future tutorial but I just wanted to show you that there are some devices that you can read the raw input from them they're not necessarily unreadable and binary all the time that some devices will give you actual readable uh, human readable output and yes that is human readable because it's it's letters and numbers uh, you just have to learn what it means um, so that was a quick look at reading raw devices and getting information from a GPS unit. Now, just like any other uh, file, basically in Linux, uh, I didn't mention this in the last trail, but basically hardware devices, anything plugged into your computer, whether it be you know RAM or CD-ROM drive, whatever, in Linux, in Unix, in a Unix-based system, they are shown up as files, which you can read and write to as long as you have permission, just like you can any other file. Um, and that's great because it makes it real easy to just grab output like that. There are some drawbacks to it where if there's a lot of information coming in or going out, uh, you'll get what's called bottlenecking where it can't display the information as fast as it's going. Um, but that's not the case with a device like this. It's very simple to use. And just like any other file on your computer, we're just catting it out. If you wanted to store that information, we can store that information to our home directory. And we can put it in a file called gps.log. And we can do that. And now it's storing all that information to the log file. I can control C at any point to stop that. And now I can go and I can cat out that file and see what was saved. Or I can go into an editor like Vim and open up that file here. Let me let me actually clear the screen so you can see what's going on. I'm gonna type in Vim, which is like VI well don't start a fight over that. It's 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 a text editor such as VI or Nano or or any other text editor. I'm not saying that VM or VI or Vi or however you say it, Vim is a the same application or one that one is better than others so oh I don't even have Vim installed right now <laughs> we'll, we'll VI it there we go so now we can go through and scroll through and see the different bits of information that we have stored to a file I can uh, quit out of that file um, 
what else could we do with this? Basically anything you can do with a file. If we uh, go back to our command here, where we uh, piped it into, we can actually uh, put it through the T command, which we are now still getting the output of the information on the screen, but it is also, and actually it looks like I finally hit a satellite. You can see I'm getting coordinates there instead of a bunch of zeros. Um, I can stop that and I can once again cat out that file that we saved to and you can see it's still stored all that information. You can see what it was getting when it was hitting the satellite here. Uh, it's changing the LED flash rate. There is an LED on the uh, GPS unit itself and at that point it's giving you information that it's changed the way the, the LED is flashing, uh, timing, maybe color. Um, but you see using the T command, which I've shown you in the past, allows you to view the output on the screen and save it to a file. And I'm happy that we hit a satellite there. Um, that means in the next tutorial, I can show you a little more of uh, stripping away that uh, information and uh, you getting some use out of it. So that was a quick look at grabbing raw data from a USB GPS device. Hope you found this useful. Please feel to comment and rate this video and visit bashscripts.info or filmsbychris.com uh, anytime to visit, see more videos and tutorials like this. Have a great day.